Hey, Becca, what you doing? I am I'm planning my trip with Cody to the Grand Canyon. And oh, I've got to like gonna find to how Canyon? to get there. Okay. Yeah. So what, so what are you doing? to How, do you, how are you going to get to the Grand Canyon is the idea. Here. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've got my, my maps pulled up on my phone and I'm just Googling it. And so I'm looking at the different roads I have to take. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool because you know what a coincidence that is? What? Is because we're going to talk today about how to get somewhere. Ooh, where are we going? Uh, we're going to talk about getting to heaven. Oh, perfect. I'll find that. Let me pull but that up. I, it, I, I, okay. I don't think that's... Loading, loading. Okay, got it. Must be heaven. Wait, you, it's you, about you 68 it? miles away. Mm-hmm. Must be heaven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Sandwiches. That's a sandwich shop. That's not that's heaven. Not, that's not what we're talking about. Oh, okay. Well, here, I've got a, another a new seven heaven. It's um, a convenience store. Yeah, that's not the heaven I'm talking about either. That's a convenience store. All, okay. all these are places and businesses. Yeah. I mean, foot heaven? No. No. I no, think okay. that's a shoe store. Wag heaven, pet supplies? No. Um, what we're talking about getting to heaven doesn't involve Google Maps and searching for it on your phone. Because you, you can't find heaven that way. That's not how you... Well, how am I supposed to get to heaven? Well, it, it has a lot more to do with uh, Jesus. Oh. I guess I'll put my maps away then. Yeah. yeah. Well, can you tell me about that? Well, you know, getting to heaven... Um, well, I'm going to back up a little bit and talk about, you know, what keeps you from getting to heaven. Ooh. I, is that sin? You are correct. Oh. We've talked about that. That's sin because God can have nothing to do with sin. And um, if we've talked a little bit before, if um, all of us have sinned, that's when we do wrong things. And that gets between us and getting to heaven. That sounds right. I've heard about that before. Mm-hmm. I think we've had some conversations about what we've sin does about in that. our lives. Sin does, yeah. Especially when we do that to other people and how that hurts God, too. Yeah. But, Scott, I. I've sinned. I've got sin in my life. And you said that I can't get to heaven if I have sin. That's true. So how am I supposed to get there? Well, let me show you maybe with an illustration that will help you understand this a little bit more. It helps me think through it, okay? Oh, good. Well, let's okay. let's say this is a um, bowl of water here. I'm not going to throw it on you. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's say this is you. This is your life, all right? Okay. And now, right now, we, you're pretty clean there, but... You know, the truth is, let's say this is this is sin. Mm-hmm. So you say you've sinned, like possibly have you like uh, maybe lied to somebody before? Yeah. Yeah. There's, so there's been a bit of sin there, and maybe you've uh, you know said some mean things to people, mm-hmm. you know, things like that, or you know, and you you told your parents you were doing something that wasn't true, and then you you took something you didn't belong to you, oh, you I said a word to somebody else that hurt them. And, and you just get all that sin in there. Let's put a little bit more right that's, there, too. Well, to, that's all true. That's a lot of sin. How am yeah. I supposed to get rid of that? Well, you can't. Well, great. Well, no, we're not done yet. Oh. Yeah. See, you can't. See, if, if, if you try to take care of that sin, you know what ends up happening? It's sticking it, to it, you. It sticks to you. It just gets, gets, gets on you oh. and sticks to you. Because you can't take care of that sin. Well, who can? Well, who do you think can? Oh, yeah. Jesus. You're right. See, sin begins between you and God because it's those wrong things we've done. And God can't have anything to do with sin. And God knew that was a problem. Mm. And God wanted to take care of that because you can't. So he sent Jesus to take care of our sin. So... I'm with, I'm good with Jesus. We're that, friends. That, so I'm good. I'm well, in heaven. It, it, it's a little bit more than, than just being good with Jesus. Well, what else? Well, see, God sent Jesus to take care of sin. Let me show you. In fact, here, let's just say this now with this wonderful bit of soap here. This is Jesus. And when we look at your life there with that sin, mm-hmm. and, and Jesus comes in your life. Look at that. Whoa. You can't get near it. It just... Because Jesus took care of our sin by dying for us on the cross, wow. by taking care of that. And so, so when we have Jesus, it removes that sin. It moves it out of the way. So it's how gone. do I how do I get that? 
Well, I'm you good with Jesus, but you said it's it's more. It's more than that. It's not I, something, I get that. It's not something you get. Like, you don't work for it. There's nothing you can do. You can't Google it on your phone. You can't earn your way to Jesus. Well, what do I do? Well, you know, we've talked before about forgiving and, like, forgiving other people and asking for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing. You've got to ask for forgiveness for Jesus. you got to choose to follow Jesus. Oh. you got to choose to let Jesus in your life, not just, you know, be buddies on Facebook or text him every once in a while. I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that kind of makes me think of a of a Bible story. Yeah, it just does. A really quick. About all this sin stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. sin is the, are those things that we do wrong. And the reason sin keeps us from heaven is because, you know, have you ever gotten paid for something? Sure. Uh, they call that wages. Mm -hmm. You know, and the verse I think that you're thinking about, it talks about sin. Well, the payment for sin, you ready? It's death. What? Death means that you don't you don't get to go eternal life to heaven. It's death. Not like hey, you sinned and you die right there. Oh. We're talking about wow, forever kind of death. That's and that's big. what that sin's a big deal. Yeah. It's not just you know we got tiny pepper here just to show it, but sin's a big deal because it separates you from God. Yeah. Wow. So what you're saying is. I send even a tiny, tiny bit. bit. Just just one tiny speck of pepper is enough to keep you. I'm separated from God. From God. Forever. Unless I well, choose. Let's, let's go to your Bible verse that you're thinking of. Why don't you tell the kids where that's from? Because I know you are thinking of this one. This Romans 6 verse 23 says, When someone sins, he earns what sin pays. Yeah. Earns. That's the wages. Yeah. And you said that's death. But God gives us a free gift. Wow. Life forever in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's just what you were talking about. Yeah, like, Jesus, I can't earn it. You can't earn it. It's a gift. Wow. But it's a gift that we get to choose whether we accept it or not. It's wow. pretty cool. That is amazing. And I'm really thankful that Jesus gives me that gift. Yeah. I better make sure I choose it every day. Yep. And it's a choice that you guys can make every day. It's a choice that all of us kind of have to make every day because that that sin's pretty messy. It is. And, you know, if, and you, try to take to care of, if you try to take care of it yourself, you can't get rid of it. No. But Jesus, he can. Oh, that is That's so cool. comforting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this week we've put some questions and some activities in this video attached to it, uh, especially parents for you to talk about what it means to choose Jesus. And what goes with that. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, an example of how you can do this fun experiment here to show when you get Jesus in your life, it moves all that sin, sin out away. of the way. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I look forward to hearing about your conversations. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, be sure to comment in the, the feed there and let us know how it went for you. Yeah. We love you guys. We miss you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Wait, wait, Scott. I found out that there's a stairway to heaven. Uh, yeah. It's that, got that, its own song and everything. That, that's just a song. It's not really true. So I still have all that sin mm, on me. Yeah, you need to stop Googling things. Okay. Yeah. I guess that, yeah, probably. What you having? Nothing. No, let's hear it. No, it's just, no. Yeah. No. I think the kids would like it. They know it. Don't worry about it. Never mind. Everybody text Scott and ask him to sing the song. Hey, Becca, I've discovered something else about sin. You know, it separates us from God. You know what mm -hmm. else it does? What? I discovered it makes me sneeze a whole lot. <laughs> it makes me sin. Don't sniff sin. Sin separates from you from God and makes you sneeze. Yeah. True story. So if you're sneezing, you're probably sinning. I, I don't think. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna cut that. I ruined that. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty who shore all that glitters is gold, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. Mm -hmm.